Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome back to Phasmophobia. The developers just dropped another dev preview on us, dev preview number four. In this one, they're gonna go over the new main menu with a new loadout system that I am super excited for and also a huge secret about the Sunny Meadows map. We have gotten the full floor plan that I will cover in this video. I will go over all the different rooms and what we can expect from that map. That is gonna be very exciting. Also, when this video goes live, I will be, I will be on Twitch live Live streaming so if you want to join the streams you can find us with a link in the description twitch.tv slash instant but without any further ado let's hop into the dev preview and see what they got for us welcome back we've got some news for you we're glad you're all enjoying the v this is the latest update which added three new ghosts which i have been very much enjoying if you haven't seen that already you can find all those videos on the youtube the next major update is the custom difficulty or the next major update custom difficulty is getting closer and closer every day so today we want to show you a couple of new big Big things to keep those hype meters cranked up to the max main menu some of your keen eyes may have noticed the lack of an ed buy button on the new main menu screen i did i have to be honest i did not immediately see that well ghost hunt and distribution has been kind enough to upgrade some of our systems you'll soon find a new computer setup in the main menu room for all your buying and selling needs okay so we're gonna have a separate system and then the loadout system wait a minute so we're gonna have a separate a separate menu screen this is just a very basic menu where at least you can see what you're buying instead of just like reading it off a list it's going to be a little easier to to know if you want to buy some sanity pills you just click on them uh you may also notice a brand new highly requested feature that has finally made an appearance loadouts finally it has taken us this long to get something so basic thank you fastmo now we can finally oh this is great wait whoa how is this gonna work so you have a loadout system you go there you like select how many of each item you want in the loadout then you can save it you can buy it you can add different loadouts oh you have three different loadouts here i, I guess that's what you're saying this one's locked though these are locked why are they locked um so you could have a single player loadout probably multiplayer loadout maybe i don't know no evidence loadout for me for example if i do some no evidence challenges you can just quickly throw those in um and then you can even buy the whole loadout. So if you die, that's great. Like if you throw in all those items and you die, now I like keep 10 of every item for some reason. Like I don't just buy six hundreds of every items. I just keep a, like a low quantity of them. So every time I die or if I die a few times in a row, I'll have to buy all the items back. But then you can finally just have a loadout, throw it in. If you die, you can just buy the whole loadout uh, or you can buy it up to the degree that you need it. Like you could no not have head mounted cams, for example, for if you want to play single player you don't need to have mounted cam so that's very nice that's right no longer will you have to buy individual items or all of them time you want to, to wait every time you want to start a contract with loadouts you'll be able to set up a template buy only the items you are missing and add them all with just a few clicks that is amazing also the person who's playing is broke cj are you broke you need some help <laughs> i can give you a loan <laughs> i'm just kidding um in the future progression update you'll unlock an additional loadout every time you prestige ah that's our first sneak peek at actual in-game bonuses of how uh of what the uh of what the prestige system will give you i would say probably starting with two seems kind of neat i mean i guess because it's kind of just like bullying newer players not that they it's always good to add complexity over time like it, it would be nice that you don't need to use the loadout system which i i'm pretty sure that's not how this works you could just click on the the plus and minus buttons also why is the plus oh the plus button here is missing because there's already two dots projectors in there and you cannot put in more than two all right makes sense makes sense um sunny meadows so i i'm uh, super excited obviously this is amazing finally now it is a very basic system so i can't give them like too much credits because there's been like hundreds of hundreds upon hundreds of suggestions for a system like this since the very beginning that the game came out but it still is, it doesn't take away that it is very good that we finally get it i'm excited to just to have a very neat system uh, hopefully unlock the all the loadouts quickly so i can just like set up all my challenges really fast instead of having to click them all and like edit the videos out and stuff like that too much work man sunny meadows we've managed to sneak past patient patient oh set we managed to sneak past patient 07 lurking in her new home which is the grudge girl that you've probably seen on the new thumbnails uh, a bit with the uh, 
with the pajama or the patient outfit with like a little barcode on it uh and grab a quick photo of the sunny meadows floor plan this is amazing so I was looking at this really quickly. I only looked at it for a second. Basically, what it looks like is that they made... Asylum is still pretty much the same size. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, but they cut out, like, half the rooms on both of the wings. Which... And there's two rooms at the end now instead of only one big room that was there before. And they got stairs at the end. Oh, that's actually going to be... Oh, no, stairs at the end and in the middle. Okay, good. Because, yeah, that's great. That's great for traversal. That's going to... Because there's only... In the current asylum, there's only two stairways. On There's only one on each side at the beginning. And then if you're at the end, you're just kind of... You're kind of wrecked, which is actually going to make Asylum so much easier. Like, so much easier because right now, if you have a ghost at the back here, you have, you have, if you've played Asylum with a group, you have felt this. You have felt that you had a ghost at the back. You go there, and once everyone leech, reaches low sanity, the ghost hunts. Then you all run out of there the only way you can, just like run away. Sometimes people die because they the ghost is too fast, they, it catches you. Uh, but if you do make it, if the go if the hunt ends, you have to go all the way back through here to then go back to the ghost room. And by that time, it might already hunt, push you out again. Like, bringing in equipment at the end of that is such a nightmare. Now you can, like, take double, two different routes. You can, like, loop it. You could run this way with the ghost on your butt and then, like, go up the stairs and loop back during the hunt so you don't lose that much time and you can be back at the ghost room really quickly. That's actually very nice. So it's, it's very nice, nice reflection, by the way. We got female rooms. We got hospital rooms. We got male rooms. Probably, okay, so the male wing is on the left here and the female wing is on the right and then what are these last rooms what is 36 wait what, what there was, there's different rooms look at that boiler house 21 where's the 21 boiler house i'm zooming in enhance enhance uh boiler house i can't find 21 uh there okay right here so wait they got so where do you start you start here i'm guessing foyer yeah the foyer is usually where you start so uh your, the truck's going to be parked here. You enter, then you have the manager's office, the waiting room. You got a connecting corridor to the main uh, place. So this is like the starting area. Then we have the corridor here. What is this room? The chapel? Holy shit, that's cool. A chapel? Uh, obviously, by the way, this is work in progress, so it could change, but uh, they're giving some sneak peeks into what type of rooms there will be. We got um, infirmary, very small infirmary. Courtyard? courtyard dude 10 is the courtyard they got an outside section of this as well that's super cool <laughs> that's awesome i wonder if there could possibly uh, possibly be ghosts out there that would be sick I, I hope that's how it works um and then you have uh let's see visitors classroom classroom interesting foul linen foul linen east food store dairy store kitchen servant dining scullery scullery i don't know what that is a bake house a boiler house a wash house there's just so many different types of rooms laundry room foul linen west servant room servant room visitors west utility and then we got the male rooms day room dorm room so night, night and some variety there as well we got the female wing with the day room and stuff like that the matron wing the matron office the matron office too uh padded padded cell 52 padded cell in the basement probably uh, underneath here, the the crack is is stemming from is stemming from the pad itself. I wonder if that has anything to do with our friend, uh, patient 07. <laughs> uh, we got, let's see, operating room 60 at the end here, down and down into the basement. By the way, all this stuff is hospital in the basement. It's all hospital stuff. Operating room morgue, morgue at the end here. Uh, basement east, padded cell to restricted area. 64? Oh, interesting. So, I wonder how th what they mean with restricted area. Like, do they mean if you get a prestige, you'll unlock it? I don't think they're bringing out the prestige system with this update. Obviously, they're not bringing that out with this update. So, it's probably not going to be related to that. It might be related to level to make... Because that would be... They both know the 54. Is that restricted as well? No, that's the hospital wing. So, 64 is restricted... We have restricted room, restricted room. What the heck is happening here, dude? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was covering it up at some point, but I, I read it out loud. Um, 
Restricted rooms. Um, I don't know what's happening in restricted room 69, but I don't know if we want to find out. <laughs> Probably. Wait. The, the examination room. I can't wait. To, to, that's the ultimate ghost room. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, what do they got here? The number of rooms has been brought down considerably when compared to the current asylum. The current asylum is like 140 or something. I, I forget. It says on the on the on the Phasmo, like when you select asylum it says like how many rooms it has considerably when upgrading to the uh, when compared to the current asylum but fear not it is still plenty big enough for ghosts and investigators alike to get amongst the long corridors dense room and smash lights i actually think this is like perfect it definitely seems really big still like it's not as long at the end but to be fair you really didn't want to have a ghost there anyway like it's dev i wonder if it's going to be bigger than high school it might be smaller than high school if i look at this like high school has some more rooms but maybe the size is like different maybe these these rooms are larger than the high school rooms room should we don't know right <clears throat> um that's it for development preview number four we'll catch you with some teaser soon by the way if you want to look at this yourself i will link the uh dev preview in the description so if you want to take a closer look at the of, of the plan i mean i looked through all of it but i am this is so cool the we got we got like a whole outside area some work area similar to how the prison has like multiple different areas we have a uh, like boiler rooms and uh, examination and uh, surgery places and padded cells like this is awesome i can't wait to find this map it seems like it's just gonna be a straight up upgrade like we'll still miss the old asylum for a little bit but as soon as we'll get this map we'll forget about it within probably a month or something and then if we really want to we can always run back the uh, like i i've done that before where i loaded up the very first update of phasmophobia when it first came out we could do that as well to run it all the way back and i actually Actually play on the old asylum after we've forgotten about it that's gonna be nostalgia fest when that when that happens but anyway that is the dev preview loadout system especially the sunny meadows uh map is super cool that they give that away so yeah i i can't wait to see it let me know what you think uh let me know what you think about the plan and what what maps your favorite or what what room is your favorite what area you want to see the ghost in i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the live streams you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instant every single day time PM Century European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Have a good one.